Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today I'm going to do a tool review on this infrared thermometer. And what I use this for is checking the temperature of the bearings on my trailers. And I've got, I don't know, at least five trailers around here. And, uh, you know, one of the preventative maintenance things that you do on trailers is, you know, at least once a year or, you know, somewhat frequently, you need to re-grease the bearings. Whether you've got the, the self-packing ones where you can just put a, a grease gun on there and pop some grease in there, or if you have to take them apart and grease them, but you need to do that. But in order to monitor how well those bearings are performing, you can use a thermometer like this one. Uh, what you do is you check the temperature of the bearings after you've been driving for a while. If one bearing is hotter than the others, that tells you that bearing is not doing well and it needs some maintenance. Uh, I can tell you from experience, if you ignore these bearings, you can be out 50 miles from home in a country road and a bearing just, you see pieces go all over the road and you're stuck. I've had that happen. It's not a good feeling. It really puts you in a bind. A little tool like this can help prevent that sort of thing by monitoring the temperature of your bearings. And also as a side note, as you can see, I got this Kodiak Ultralight Camper. We also have a YouTube channel called Bucket List Time with Ann and Wayne, where we do videos about our camper, as well as destinations and places that we go in our camper. So you may want to be in, uh, may want to check on that if you're interested in travel. Uh, I put a link in the bottom uh, in the description to Bucket List Time with Ann and Wayne. Uh, but today we're reviewing this infrared thermometer and I'm going to show you how it works. Now this infrared thermometer is made by Pittsburgh. I bought it at uh, Harbor Freight. And uh, it's not a very expensive one, but there are a lot of different models, uh, brand names of you know thermometers like this on the market. And basically you press the button on the side. It has a little red light. Hopefully you can see the little red light there. You point it at what you want to measure the temperature of. Then after a jiffy, it shows you the temperature. Right now it's 79.3 degrees. Now this trailer's been sitting here for a while, so it hadn't been used lately, so it's, it's you know, basically air temperature right now. Uh, but you know, this part of the hub is the best place to check. And when you do this, after you've been driving for a while, check all four if you have double axles or two if you've only got a single axle. But uh, make sure they stay somewhat consistent. If you see one that is running hotter than the others, that tire or that bearing needs maintenance. And ignoring that is gonna cause you trouble. Now that trailer was a flatbed equipment trailer that I've got. But back to my Kodiak camper here, I got these little trim covers over the edge of where the bearings are at. Uh, if that's your scenario, you can try shooting just inside there on some of the metal and get a reading there. You can also go in here on the, if you've got brake drums, you might be able to shoot in there and get on the edge of your brake drum. But try to, if you do the brake drum, try to get as close to the axle as you can and away from where the brake shoes are at, but be consistent from tire to tire. Because if you check, you know, how close to the edge on one and close to the uh, axle on another, you can expect different readings. But if those readings are vary by much, and they'll vary some, but if they very much, whichever ones are hot, you need to think about doing some maintenance on those bearings. Uh, Cause like I said, I got stranded out in the country, long ways from home years ago. Uh, and it's just puts you in a real bind. Don't let that happen to you. You know, buy, these things are not expensive. Buy one, use it. You may save yourself a lot of trouble. Anyway, uh, if you find this video interesting or useful, please click like and share it with your friends. And we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our channel. It also helps you to find other DIY videos that we do. And we just hope you have a great day.